Hello and welcome once again. We are continuing foreign film February talking about some more Hong Kong cinema. This one was actually requested under a topic to discuss uh, from my foreign film collection of some ones that people would like to hear me talk about. So we're going to be discussing the police story series today. Now we're just going to be talking about the first four movies. I haven't seen anything beyond that and from what I've heard, it's not really worth going beyond that, but I at least want to talk about the ones that I really enjoy in this series that I've seen so far. So let's get ready to jump in. We're going to talk about Jackie Chan in Police Story. So if you had anything of an upbringing like me, you grew up watching the Rush Hour movies. I loved the Rush Hour movies. Chris Tucker and Jackie Chan in them had great chemistry. The action was always great. The comedy was always fun and entertaining. And for me, that was just my favorite Jackie Chan. But that was really the extent of my knowledge on him. I had never dove into his Hong Kong movies, but then over the past few years, maybe three to five years, I've been dipping my toe more into, a lot more into foreign films in general, but also trying to check out more of his older films. So the first one I did for that was Police Story in 1985. So I have here the Criterion Collection for Police Story 1 and Police Story 2. This is a really great set tons of supplements and bonus features and stuff that I've started dipping into uh, since seeing the movies now and the first one in this series is arguably my favorite in the series I think the stunt work is just <clears throat> unmatched it's insane nobody died making this movie looking at some of the stuff uh, Jackie did of just running full force down a hill Building a shanty town and driving cars through it, hanging off of a bus by an umbrella. The amazing final sequence where he's going down that pole in the mall. Amazing, amazing stunt work all throughout this movie. And it's got a pretty good story, too, of him playing this cop who just kind of likes to do things his own way kind of thing and gets in trouble for it, but he gets the job done. So Police Story 1, arguably my favorite in the series. And then we also have in this set Police Story 2, which came out, I think, a couple of years after this one. So in Police Story 2, I just checked, this one came out in 1988. So a few years after the first Police Story movie was a huge success. And, and if you look back on interviews from with Jackie Chan, he says Police Story is probably the best thing he's ever done. So it's still one of his proudest accomplishments. And But Police Story 2 is still a really solid follow-up. I don't like it quite as much as Police Story 1, but... It does add some things that I liked and appreciated. It does add a bit more story to it. Now, it's not necessarily to the movie's detriment, but it does kind of cut into time that I think could have been spent maybe on some more action and stuff where, you know, these are front and foremost action movies. So as much as you need a decent story to get you involved and get you invested, we're here for the stunts and we're here for the action. So it's not to the movie's detriment. These aren't like long bloated movies. They're only like an hour and a half, hour and 45 minutes each. So they go by really quickly, but I did appreciate the extra story added in. The action doesn't quite reach the highs of like iconic moments, like for example, the shanty town crashing a car through or sliding down the pole in the mall in the first movie, but it's still really great, really entertaining action. For me, the playground fight was definitely the standout of this one. It's a great one that has Jackie Chan's kind of signature comedic fighting sequences where he has, you know, his funny reactions and his just maneuverability all throughout the environment and stuff. It's a really great sequence and definitely one of the standouts for me and my favorite from that film. Next, we have Police Story 3 Super Cop, more commonly known just as Super Cop. This is the one that gives me a run for my money, picking between the first one and this one. This is the recent 88 Films 4K Blu-ray release for it. Um, until this came out, I think the movie was pretty long out of print, so it was hard to get. So I had actually skipped this one initially and watched Police Story 4 because those were the ones that were available, so that's what I watched. So then going back and watching Police Story 3 was awesome because it doesn't necessarily fill in some gaps, but just to have the full you know, scope of the story. It's nice. As much as these movies are connected by Jackie Chan's character, they're kind of, 
not connected to the extent that a movie these days or a series these days would be connected. But this one is awesome because Michelle Yeoh joins the cast and she's fantastic in this one. This is the youngest role and performance of hers that I've seen so far in checking out Hong Kong movies. Um, and she's really, really great. And the two of them have good chemistry throughout the action, the way they play off of each other in their fighting sequences is really entertaining and really fun to watch. And they just continue to up the ante in this one. The scope of everything gets a lot bigger. There's more iconic moments. You can see on the cover here, this helicopter sequence where he's hanging from a, a ladder hanging off of it. He did that for real. And they flew a helicopter around while he was just hanging on to it. It's just amazing stuff that you just don't see in movies these days anymore. So I'm so happy to have this set and be able to have this movie in the collection because this one maybe in future watches might surpass the original for me. Uh, it's a tough call, but I'm splitting hairs at that point. This one might also have the best story of the series. I think it's got the most like kind of compelling and most fleshed out in a way that it feels balanced with the action as well. So Police Story 3, another one I can't recommend enough. And then next, lastly, for my personal collection and the ones I've seen so far, we have Jackie Chan's First Strike. Now, this is kind of Jackie Chan's Police Story series come to America. So that's why it's just called First Strike, but it's considered Police Story 4. So it's not as iconic as the first three in the series, um, but nonetheless it's still really entertaining. At this point, it had been five years since Police Story 3 was released, so another pretty good gap between movies. And then this one being in the U.S., it's still got some pretty impressive stunt work to boast, um, but it's kind of leaning into that 90s cheese of, you know, what a lot of Hollywood movies were doing at the same time. So, I mean, there's sequences with, you know, sharks and, like, fighting sharks and stuff like that, but... It's, it's still a really entertaining movie. There's a fight sequence in this one with Jackie Chan and a ladder. That's probably the most iconic fight in the movie for me that I enjoy, even just going and watching that sequence on YouTube. Uh, it's a really fun one. So, again, a step down from the previous Police Story movies, but it's still a pretty entertaining one that I definitely enjoy amongst the series and will continue to keep in my collection. Also, the other thing that kind of stings with this one is you're forced to watch the dub for it. Um, so I, I really don't like watching dubs for live action stuff. I always prefer to watch with subtitles. Anime is my only exception for watching dubs. Um, so that kind of stinks, but it's still a, still a fun watch. Now, that's all of the movies for my Police Story series. There's, I think, maybe two or three more in the series, but they really kind of fall off after that. I might check them out at some point, especially if someone recommends them down in the comments, maybe. Um, if they are worth checking out, obviously don't tell me to watch it because even though they're bad movies, like I want to check them out if they're decent. So that is my thoughts on the Police Story series of the first four films. I hope you enjoyed it. Kind of a bit of an overview, maybe a way to get you to check these out if you've not already. They're some of the best Hong Kong movies, I think. Jackie Chan is so iconic, and this was very, very pivotal to his career and the way we know and appreciate him today. So thank you for checking out this video. Thank you for sticking around to the end. I have more videos in this foreign film February series coming soon. So be ready to check those out and I will see you in the next one.